This could well be the very best club that I have tried in this year's 2023 tailor-made lineup. And it is certainly very different from anything else that is out there right now. It's also a club that I vowed was a waste of money for majority of average golfers. So the question is, is the new titanium three wood from the Stealth lineup gonna change my opinion on that? Well, the answer to that question is quite possibly. You see, this three wood is like no ordinary three wood. Oh, what a ball that is. So the question is what makes this three wood so different and why would it possibly change my mind? Well, I'll get to that very, very shortly. But first of all, this titanium three wood, well, it's not new in terms of a tailor-made lineup, but there is something added to this product, which is very, very new and very, very different that makes it a different option than I would ever consider before. And some of the changes you can make in this three wood and five wood are considerable in terms of what you can do to their performance. Yes, that's right. The new titanium three wood is adjustable and adjustable in a big way, adjustable in a way that I've never seen performance shift so much from the ability to slide a weight along and also adjust some loft. Watch this space. You see this new Stealth 3 wood has two elements of adjustability. We can adjust the loft, which is pretty much standard. We've seen that in many, many products before, nothing new there. But you can also adjust the weight positioning. And again, I hear you say that's nothing new and, well, it is in a three wood and it certainly is in the way that you can change this weight because effectively you move it from front to back and that weight change is considerable. Front being the low spin model, which I've always struggled with in the past, move that weight to the very back and it becomes a more forgiving, absolute power rocket add a little bit of loft in there and all of a sudden it becomes a little bit more user-friendly and a little bit more versatile in terms of an option to put in the bag. So this is altogether a different animal than I've ever seen before in terms of a three wood. I'm not sure it'd end up being a standard three wood in my bag. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you through some numbers just how much that adjustability can affect the performance of this club. Right now to collect the data, I'm gonna do, uh, we're gonna set it in two extremes. So first of all, I'm gonna move this weight forward and I'm gonna put it in the, uh, well, the most, the lowest spin version, if you like. This weight, by the way, is 50 grams worth of weight. That's a considerable change, obviously, in what you'd expect to see. Um, in terms of performance, that's, that's a huge weight. Now we're also gonna leave the loft setting as uh, standard, so that being 15 degrees. Right, we're gonna put the ball on a little bit of a low T peg, which is mainly where I'd play three wood from, but that will change when we make the next adjustment in terms of the setup. Let's see what this does in terms of performance. Well, it's a decent looking ball. It's a piercing ball flight. So first of all, I said piercing ball flight. Launch angle, just under 10 degrees. We've got a spin number, which was still quite high, surprisingly. We are using range balls here this morning, so that's something to consider. So the spin number is a little bit high. Peak height of 23 yards, a carry of 204. Right, the important bit for me there really is that ball flight launching at 9.9. .9. You could see it was a very piercing ball flight. You can see the carry distance is just dropping a little bit. And you can see this is a type of setup where I struggled with this model in the past because of its limitations in terms of being like an all out bomber, low spin, needed the club head speed. We're gonna make an adjustment. And this time we're gonna take the weight completely back to the other side. And in doing so, that weight should have a huge impact in terms of the launch. But I'm also, at the same time, I'm gonna adjust the loft in this thing. We can uh, take it up, is it two degrees, the higher setting? Um, 
We're at 15 now. So I'll make an adjustment again. Let's see what this takes it up to. I've got a feeling it's two degrees. Yeah, it's an additional two degrees there. So we're now at 17 degrees with weight at the very back. That's a considerable change up. And one to make within one club in your bag is a lot of versatility. Right. Question is, how much difference does that actually make to performance? Oh, that's a better one. Right, let's see what we've got. Ball flight, incredibly different. Uh, that is just such a change. I, I mean, I mean such a change. And bore out in numbers. So don't forget, 9.9 .9 degrees launch, weight forward, standard 15 degree head. We have just shifted this ball flight to 16 degrees in terms of launch angle. That's off the scale in terms of adjustability. We've just made one club be very, very different by changing two things. That's why this club is so interesting and so much more versatile than the majority of three woods that are out there. Peak height of 31 yards and a carry of 212 and a spin number that was actually lower than that of the low spin setting, which is a bit of an odd one, but there you go. That 212 carry, just an eight yard addition in terms of its carry distance, but it got there in a totally different way. All of a sudden, this now becomes a three wood that I would consider putting in the bag where I have dismissed these out. I mean, just not worth having it in the bag for majority of average golfers. And the only way this changes things is its CG position and the amount of loft. So in a way, we're almost playing a forward either way, but to have the option to make those changes is a significant move from TaylorMade. Now, I was gonna hit multiple balls with multiple different settings, but I don't think we're gonna achieve a great deal. All we've really proven there is the two extremes. And obviously what you've got in here is some adjustability that is in between both of those extremes. So if you're looking to dial into a particular yardage, or a particular ball flight that you particularly like, then you've got those options again to do so. And again, with that adjustability and loft and pairing the two things together, this is the club that's gonna appeal to the, the person that likes to have a little bit of a mess around, likes to fiddle with their golf clubs. And certainly you can go on for hours with all the different permutations you could get, but ultimately making sure that you get optimum performance out of a golf club, which is really, what we're looking to do. And if you could do that kind of thing with every golf club, then I'm sure gapping in bags would become a whole lot easier. So I applaud what TaylorMade have done in this Stealth 2 Titanium 3 wood. I know this, I say I know, I'm pretty sure this is available in a five wood option as well. So all of a sudden, such a huge amount of versatility into your fairway wood game. Right. Let me know what your thoughts are on that, but arguably that could be the most interesting product that I have tried from TaylorMade's 2023 lineup, without doubt. It's um, not only for this year's model, but I think what this does, it opens up a real window of opportunity for manufacturers to do something similar to this and take adjustability to a whole different level. Right, I hope you enjoyed that one. As you know, we've got plenty more to come because it is, uh, well, it's, new product of the year month and it's an absolute bombardment of it so i'm going to carry on testing more and i will see you tomorrow night thanks for watching